Okay, let's take a look at number 67. And, um, let me see, a cube has an edge of three feet. Edge is increasing at a rate of two feet per minute. Express the volume of the cube as a function of m. m is the number of minutes elapsed. Okay, it says it has an edge of three, and it's increasing at the rate of two feet per minute. Two feet per minute implies a linear growth. So m... Is going to equal to um, 2x plus 3. There we go. Because it currently has an edge of 3 feet, so that's where the 3 came from, and then our slope is 2 feet per minute, so... That's where the 2 came from. Now, it says that express the volume of the cube as a function of m. m is the number of minutes elapsed. Now, the thing about cube is that all the edges are equal. So they're all the same. <laughs> Ignore my drawing. So if this was x, this is x, and this is x, our volume would be x cubed. So, uh, volume is equal to x cubed. Maybe that's not appropriate. I probably should have set up here x equals 2m plus 3, since they want, to, uh, want us to put it in terms of m. Not that matters, just a variable swap. So, I'll put 2m plus 3 in there, the third power. So, we got 2m plus 3 times 2m plus 3 times 2m plus 3. That 2m plus 3 carries down. I'll go ahead and multiply these together. 2m times 2m is 4m squared. 2m times 3 is 6m. 3 times 2 is 6m. 3 times 3 is 9. So we got 2m plus 3 times 4m squared plus 12m plus 9. Now multiply those together. 2m times 4m squared is 8m cubed. 2m times 12m is 24m. 2m times 9 is 18m. 3 times 4m squared is 12m squared. 3 times 12m is 36m, and 3 times 9 is 27. Combine like terms, so we've got 8m to the third. Um, that's weird, I think I left off a squared. Let's see. Yeah, I did. 24m squared plus, it's been a long day. <laughs> 24m squared plus 12m squared is 36m squared. 18m plus 36m is um, 54m, I think. Uh, 4, 1, yeah, 54m plus 27. Now let's see if I screwed up. 8m cubed plus 36m squared plus 54m plus 27. And that's how you do number uh, 67. So let me um, clear this off. And we'll look at the next one. You're asking about 69. Uh, open boxes will be constructed by cutting out square corners of X, X inch sides from a piece of cardboard 8 inches by 8 inches and then folding up the sides. I'm not sure if I understand X dash X, but I think it's because I copied it. Okay. 8 by 8.
So we start out with eight by eight. And then we want to cut the corners out. And I believe it means those should be X by X. Like that. Now, if this entire distance was 8, and uh, this distance is x, and this distance is x, adding those together, x plus x is 2x, this in between will be 8 minus 2x. And if you add all these together, x plus x minus 2x cancels, so it leaves you 8. This will also be 8 minus 2x. This will also be 8 minus 2x, and this will also be 8 minus 2x. Now, if I fold the box up, and I don't draw 3D very well, let's see, you have to use your imagination. Then this side is 8 minus 2x. This height here is x, and what am I missing? This distance back here would be 8 minus 2x. Uh, let's see, what do they want? Volume as a function of x. So, I'm going to have this side times this side times this side. Okay, I'll go ahead and multiply uh, these two together first, and I'll do the x. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times negative 2x is negative 16x. Boy, that's bad. Let's try to rewrite that. There we go. Negative 2x times 8 is negative 16x. Negative 2x times negative 2x is a positive 4x squared. And uh, 4x squared, I'll put first. Negative 16, negative 16 is negative 32x plus 64. I multiply the x through, and I got 4x to the third minus 32x squared plus 64x. Uh, 4x to the third minus 32x squared plus 64x. And that's how you work that one. 